I just received my Asda order for the month. I usually shop from Asda for my household items, like my groceries, my food items, basically things I need in the house. I do my major shopping from Asda. I buy some other things from Food by CPC, which is an African store. And then for some fresh stuff here and there, I buy from Aldi. But my major shopping is always done from Asda because I can order online and they can deliver it to my doorstep. I've gotten some criticism in the past about, oh, why are you ordering food things online? Just go to the store. And I'm like, why do I want to suffer myself? drive all the way to Asda, walk around the big Asda, buying stuff here and there. Mind you, I'll buy chicken here. I'll buy this one at the other side. <laughs> I'll buy eggs here. I'll buy conflicts down, down there. Why do I want to go through all that stress when I can just place my order online and they bring it to my doorstep? I've never really had any problems with them delivering things to me. The only issue I have had with them is whenever I buy milk products, okay? Because I buy the regular milk products like yogurt and not even, I've not even really had issues with yogurt. Milk in particular, sometimes when I buy milk from them, they give me milk that would not expire, but the best before is like one or two days. Like let's say now today is the first and I order two uh, gallons of milk, they will end up bringing milk that the best before is maybe on the third or on the fourth. Am I supposed to drink two gallons of milk in three days or four days? But each time it happens, I always go on the app, on the website and put my complaints in and they give me my refund and they don't take the milk back. So I use the milk to make yogurt or we just, you know, we'll drink tea with it and then make yogurt before I now buy, if, if I now buy milk, okay? But now I've gotten a different company that delivers milk to me every Friday. So every Friday morning when my husband is going out for work, he just brings the milk inside and he goes on his way so i never really worry about milk so i try to make my life easy okay calculate how much you spend on fuel if you're driving or calculate how much you spend on bus or whatever calculate the stress if i forget about fuel i don't care about fuel the stress of walking around that store looking for things when i can just order it online like it's unmatched okay same thing with food by cpc they bring it to my doorstep i don't care i've never had any issues with oh freshness or the way the thing looks like come on come on this is 2024 okay Get your get, get with the program. This is 2024. People in Nigeria are doing doorstep delivery. Then it's me abroad. I'll be suffering myself. I'll be going to market because I want to touch the bread. <laughs> is it that I want to smell the, the plantain and be sure that it's fresh? Or I want to touch the bread. Come on. Anyway, so yeah, that's how I do my shopping basically. I've done a video on this before. But I removed that video because my address was showing somewhere. People did not even tell me. Or maybe you didn't know, but my address was showing somewhere. And mind you, I checked very well several times, so I didn't see my address until someone pointed it out. So I removed that video. That's the reason why I want to refilm the video. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you what I got and how much it is. My um, African store order is coming this evening, so I'll continue filming then. Then during the weekend, when I go to Aldi, to be honest, I don't really go to Aldi again. My husband is the one that goes to Aldi because he likes to go to Aldi all the time. He's always going to buy fruit from Aldi. So when he's going, I'll just chip in. Buy tomato, buy pepper, buy onions. <laughs> buy tomato, buy pepper, buy onions for me. That's how I do it. So I try to empty my fridge and freezer a little bit, even though it's really not feasible to completely empty it. I was planning that I was going to finish every single food item, aside the long-term things like the fish and the stock fish and the goosey or all those things I brought from. Nigeria, those ones are inside the freezer, like the freezer of the fridge that came with the house, right? So aside those ones, I was planning that everything inside this, my double door fridge uh, and freezer, I was going to empty everything and eat everything, but it's not really feasible. So I'll just basically move the things there up and then put the new stock on that so that I can just be taken from on top and they know that the new one, the ones on that are new. But yeah, I have my assistant here. Cora, say hi. Hi. Yeah, so Cora is here to help me with the we prizes and stuff, but also to arrange or whatever. Anyway, let us start. So the first thing I'll show you guys is... Is Asda Creaming Greek Style Yogurt and it's yes. one kg. Yeah. Okay, it's the ice block that's I was wondering what that sound was. I thought something was falling. The ice block is entering the ice container. Anyway, yes, yeah, so. <laughs> really? 
it's, it's drawing water for the next batch of ice block. But this thing is so loud. This is because I'm filming that I'm not hearing it louder than normal. What the hell? Okay, okay that's finally. Tough. Yeah, so this is the Greek style yogurt I buy from Asda. So, you guys know that I've always been on the hunt for Greek yogurt. I've actually found good Greek yogurt, but because we took this one for so long, I think everybody just likes this one. It's much creamier or looser than regular Greek yogurt. It's not as thick as regular Greek yogurt, but it's not as runny as the natural yogurt. So, that's why I buy this one. We always have this for breakfast or what lunch or lunch sometimes okay so we have it and we do parfait with it so i bought how many did i buy you bought six okay um one pound 65 pence okay they gave me some that will expire 29th of august some are 26th of august so i'm going to put the i'm going to put the ones that are expiring later behind then put the ones that are expiring sooner in front or best before not that it's expiring because actually i've had some that stayed longer than what they wrote on it and it was still good the next thing is always ultra sanitary towel secure night extra size five wings okay times 14 pads yes so how much is one um let me check you guys like this is story for another day but i use all these pads in one month this story for another day yeah so the next thing is frozen veggies how much is it so it's one pound 20 pence okay so to be honest i'm not really the biggest fan of frozen veggies however it makes it easy for cora like when cora is cooking indomie it makes it easy for her to just add veggies to the indomie and the indomie is not so plain so that's why i buy it and i read somewhere that the frozen veggies actually contain more nutrients than the ones on the counter because the frozen ones are collected fresh and processed immediately and frozen while the ones on the counter have passed different hands and different days and has now stayed on the counter so i don't know how true it is but that's why i buy frozen veggies so i usually just buy like one pack because it's mostly for indomie when i want to cook things like fried rice and stuff i buy all the veggies from scratch because i'm not a fan of this thing but you know it's not bad it actually works so that water is for your girl you guys i go through these things like no man's business i like it i prefer drinking it it's more filling and also i add lemon to meat and drink i add apple cider vinegar to eat and drink and it just tastes good in my mouth like now i can't drink acv with just regular water yeah that's disgusting but with this thing it doesn't taste so bad especially when it is very 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 cold so that's why i buy a lot of it so it's 65 pence andrex gentle clean toilet tissue mega rolls nine mega rolls how much is it six six pounds 95 pence six pounds for just tissue just nine rolls of tissue I mean, they are cheaper ones, but I just wanted to try this one. I never really buy this. For some reason, because they drew poppy on this thing, I never buy it. That's the funny part. Anytime I go to a store and I just see it, because of the poppy they drew on it, I don't buy it. Which I'm sure is what attracts other people. But to me, it's like, is it dog? Is it for killing dogs? <laughs> is it not about tissue? <laughs> I just don't buy it. John West sardines in olive oil. Just... How many did I buy, Seth? Ten. Yeah. Yeah. And one is one pound one ten. pound ten. So I bought these sardines. I bought ten pieces. The reason why I bought ten is because ten is the maximum you can buy. I don't even understand. So I tried to buy twelve, but they just marked it down and said maximum number rich. So it's only ten I could buy. So we have a Morrison's close to us that we go to buy things once in a while. Like let's say I want to buy ice cream for the kids. I want to just grab. A quick veggie or two because what i do with soup sometimes is that i cook soup without the vegetable right that is okra soup basically i cook it with okra but i don't cook it with the vegetable so when i go and buy the kale i'll come and add the kale and then uh, warm the soup right that's why i still always go to morrison's once in a while let's say sometimes we want to make banana bread i need flour i need you know some things I buy some things from Morris. I buy a lot actually from Morris since I really think about it because I have their more card and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm telling you put all of this so that when we're calculating the money together, just so that it is not encompassing. There's still some things that are going to be left out. A lot of things actually. So the next thing. Asda chopped tomatoes, 400 grams. Okay. So how much is it? 
47 pens. Okay. You guys, you see chopped tomatoes. That's something that you will always see in this house. I don't even care the brand. If I'm buying from Asda, I'll buy from Asda. If I'm buying from Aldi, I'll buy Aldi own. If I'm buying from Morrison's, I'll buy Morrison's own. I don't care the brand. All I care about is, is it chopped tomato in tomato juice? Yes. That's good enough for me because this thing saves my life, okay? When I want to make a quick dinner, I want to just make quick egg sauce, quick tomato sauce, quick fish sauce, quick anything sauce. I just use that my onion cutter, that my chopper. Chop my onions, carry this one, pour, put pepper, fish, and we're good to go, okay? My sister, <laughs> my sister that is even, my sister is better than me, but she's worse than me in an aspect. My sister actually went to buy chopped onions. She said that she started off chopping onions, so my sister bought chopped onions. That's the next level, man, and I think I'll get to that level. The only reason why I've not done chopped onions or even looked for it is that I feel like onions releases gas that will start smelling too much everywhere if you chop it and just keep it. I don't know how they do their own or how they preserve their own. But if I research it and see that it's preserved well and I can do it, I will go and buy chopped onions. I know come this life can suffer. Eh? You see that two seconds? You see that two minutes I you have cut that onions? Let me use it and be sipping mojito. <laughs> Let me use it and watch two minutes of Big Brother. I don't care. But <laughs> you see that two minutes? If I can save it, I will save it. But just I'm not sure of the freshness and how it's preserved and how it will smell in my fridge. That's why I've not done chopped onions. But... Basically, all I'm trying to say is that this thing saves it saves time for me and saves my life. So yeah, this is another brand from Asda. I just saw this one. This is the last one that was remaining. I don't know. There's a difference. There's just essentials. There's something by Asda. They just have different types. I think this one is cheaper than that one I bought. But to be honest, I don't care. I don't even need to check the price. I just take whatever I see. As long as it's chopped tomatoes, even stew. I used to make stew. I just buy my peppers from Aldi, and then take my tomatoes. And mix everything and I'm blend everything and I'm good to go. Okay, what's next? As the spaghetti. Okay. So this is spaghetti. I bought three spaghetti. How much is it? 75 pence. 75 spaghetti. Pen. The consume. next one is as the fruits, nuts, and seed mix. Okay. I'm actually guessing one is one pound because there are two pounds for two. For so two. let me check. Yeah, so you're right. One is one pound. They don't need to open. So this oh. is the fruit and nut selection. I've not actually gotten this one before. So what they do on Asda is if you want them to give you um, alternative substitutes, they can give you substitutes. But if you don't want them to give you substitutes, you just tick somewhere and they will not give you substitutes. Someone actually told me about this thing on my video. I think so. I think that my last video. Someone told me about this thing, but I really, I don't, I don't even click, don't give me substitutes. My one is when the items come, if I see the thing and I don't like it, I send it back to them, okay? Like this one, actually, this is not the real one I chose, but they gave me substitute of it. And when I looked at it, it looked good, so I just took it. But if I didn't like it, I'll leave it back in the basket and they'll just deduct the money and give me my money back, okay? So it's, it's just easy. Like raisins, peanuts, cashews, golden raisins, walnuts, cranberries, Brazil nuts. So basically, why I always have this is whenever I'm making parfait, after adding the granola, even though the granola still comes with some nuts and fruits, I still add this one just to make it more healthy in my head. <laughs> but for my kids too, because normally if you carry this thing and give them on their own to eat, they will not really eat it. But whenever I put it in parfait, they eat it. So these two will last us like half a month, I think. Uh, I don't think it will get to the end of the month. Maybe almost the end of the month, but we go manage them, Sha. I still have some other nuts here. So, so the next, next thing is carry gold salted butter and it's two pound thirty. Each? Yeah. It's two. Two pound thirty because if I okay two pound thirty okay yeah so butter I use this butter to bake sometimes but mostly for frying eggs and frying pancake and frying pancake what else we use butter for it's just for frying pancake frying eggs and also making baking okay so that's why I have it I actually just have I still have one pack of Morrison's butter here so Morrison's also have has their savers brand which is like the just essentials by asda i think every major brand has things like this the savers brand so it's like the cheaper version of anything so if you want the cheaper version just go for it me i just pick any one that i see and collect and be going like i don't really start you know trying <laughs> no no when it comes to butter though i don't mistakenly go and pick president's butter because president is usually the most expensive so i don't need to make that mistake and pick president or which other brand but aside that one all this carry gold and stuff carry gold is more expensive than this one though 
I think it's only like one pound something. The next one is as their twelve large free range eggs for each is two pound ninety five. Yeah, so two pound ninety five, and we have four packs here. How much is the total? Eleven pound eighty. So I usually keep my eggs in the fridge that is that came with the house because you know it's close to the. It's close to the cooker. <laughs> That's the only logic I have for doing that. Um, but yeah, so those four, we go through that four in two weeks, maybe three weeks. But in two weeks, those four, in fact, sometimes in one week, three crates have gone. It just depends on what I cook. Like if I make egg sauce, I use like eight eggs for egg sauce just one day. Okay. And mind you, in the morning, they might have eaten bread and egg or something. Or, and then I bake with some. So we go through eggs a lot in this house. Even though yesterday I saw one video that he said, this one is not the best. Go for the organic waiting, waiting. I beg, I beg, I beg. Or egg, not egg. Well, egg, no be egg. But for the purposes, for all intents and purposes in this house, egg, not egg, I beg. <laughs> so when I buy from Asda, I usually buy this Asda one because it's 12 in a pack. It just makes more sense to pack 12 at once. Most of all those other fancy... Um, Organic ones come in like six, four. What was that? We'll be picking how many packs. I beg. But two chicken thighs. And they're and they're each four pound seventy pence. So this two chicken thighs. Pens. So four pounds for a pack of chicken. I'm sure this thing is cheaper in Audi. I, I'm pretty sure. Because sometimes when I run out of it, my husband helps me buy from Audi. And I think it's less in Audi, but to be honest, okay. Okay. And the next one is as that succulent boneless chicken thigh fillet. Okay, so this chicken thigh fillet, I use them to make like fried rice instead of chicken breast. Things like maybe I want to make a sauce with chicken, tastes way better, holds more flavor. As that flavored reduce reduced fat beef stick might make okay. typically less than twelve fat so you guys remember when i bought one mince meat like this and somebody told me that she didn't like it i was like ah by the time i tried it i understood why she didn't like it that thing can be disgusting sometimes even though i still use all of them sha. i use them to cook spaghetti uh -huh. so this time i bought the regular one that is inside the fridge this is one i used to buy originally oh, until i was now going online i was searching and i saw oh uh, buy three for the price of two or something for that other one i quickly went and bought <laughs> when i tasted it i understood why um, so this is the regular one that I normally buy. Um, this one is the reduced fat beef stick mint. I really don't like things that have reduced fat on it or zero fat or whatever. But this one, I think it's just because it's just beef stick. They have the one that is a mixture of beef and pork. That one has like, they would write typically less than 20% or 25% fat. So I go for that one sometimes depending on what. But for this one, this one works. And it's £1.50. pence. Okay, yeah, kitchen towel, one pound fifty pence. This thing is expensive. I don't even like this brand, although it's for kitchen shop, so I don't care. Because I usually buy for my face, and I buy for the kitchen. The one I buy for my face, I I I always make sure I buy from Morrison's and I see it first before I buy. <laughs> because some kitchen towels that you buy is like toilet through. Like what was what was the reason? That reminds me. I wanted to say something about always, you guys. If you have an alternative to always in in this uk please let me know like a good alternative i don't want all those wingless things that just be annoying i have heavy flow i said i told you guys i go through four of double pack in a month okay so i cannot afford to be using all these flimsy things that don't have wings don't have so that's why i go for always but i hate the texture of always i hate the smell but i don't have an alternative so i use it okay so let me know which one you guys use um yeah always disturbs me a lot but i don't have a choice because I, that's the only one that i've seen that is wide enough big enough long enough but why is it perfumed why is it scented george home 100 bamboo skewers okay and yeah. they were just one pound hey these skewers are long ago. question what do you okay, need skewers cut this, uh, for i want to make suya that's part of why i bought those ties the bullet ties i want to make chicken suya Yay. and beef suya Yay. How am I saying suya? Yeah. <laughs> suya. I don't know why I always forget that I have proper oven here. I'm always thinking of what can enter my air fryer because to be honest, air fryer is easier. It's smaller. It's easier to manage. It's easier to control. But I have a good oven here which I will end up using for the suya so I don't have to cut the sticks and so that it will be enough. Next is... As the classic runny honey. Runny honey. So one I bought pound nine pence. One pound nine pence. Yeah, so I bought runny honey from Asda. I usually buy this for my parfait. It is easier to sweeten yogurts, the Greek yogurt, with honey than with sugar. 
Okay, with sugar, it doesn't really dissolve easily. It's annoying, okay, whatever. But with honey, it's easier to just, you know, mix it pour up. it on top and just mix it. That's why I buy honey. That's why I buy a lot. So we go through quite a number of them in a month. I also use it for my tea sometimes. The truth is that is I'm not I'm not doing it for any healthy reasons so, because the sugar content, a big glycemic index, is the same thing as sugar, if not more. No, it's the same thing as sugar, I think. Just because it's easier to mix and I don't want to buy syrup because the best thing to use or a good alternative to using granulated sugar or cube sugar would have been to use um sugar syrup okay or you make your own sugar syrup but let me take honey now make a reason one they, they pretend say with the chop healthy for this house <laughs> and sometimes we use it for pancakes oh yeah sometimes we use it for pancakes as well that's true that's true instead of maple syrup yeah um what's the next thing as the macadamia nuts okay no this will switch my macadamia nuts and they gave me blanched almond nuts instead. So this is another substitute that came. They gave me blanched almond nuts instead of my macadamia nuts. And I specifically wanted macadamia nuts. But the reason why I did not return this is because, you know, it's not like they gave me something that is way, way, way off. It's still not. So I can still snack on it when I want. But I specifically wanted macadamia nuts. So I also have Tesco card and the Tesco app. So I might buy things that I couldn't buy on uh, Asda. I might buy them on Tesco and get them to deliver. Because they also deliver. Let me compare. But I've compared prices between Asda and Tesco. They are almost the same thing. Asda is just slightly cheaper than Tesco. Um... So since I've been using Asda all this while, I just decided to stick with Asda. But it's slightly cheaper than Tesco. Some things I wanted, I didn't see it in Tesco, I saw it in Asda. So I went ahead and But for my Asda. Another thing they do is that if they give you a substitute and your substitute is cheaper, let's say now I paid £2.75 for that one. And let's say this thing that came now is £2, they will refund me my 75 pence. KTC coconut milk. Okay, yeah. And it's £1.10 because it's because both of them is both of them together is £2.20. Yeah, so coconut milk, I buy one or two a month. I use it to cook coconut rice or some pasta or some fried rice. It just depends on my mood. I need to cook anything, but mostly for coconut rice or some pasta. Next. Cook by Asda. Smoked paprika. Paprika. S smoked paprika, yeah. And it's one pound. Yeah. Very original washing up liquid green with lift action. And it's two pounds. Yeah, so two pounds for each. Yeah, because both of them together is four pounds. Ah, this is not cheaper. But anyway, so right now, we have one that we bought two days ago. So let's say we go through three. Do we go through three in the month? Do we go through three in the month? I don't know. Yes. Are you sure? Three of this thing? I don't think so. Remember, we use the dishwasher most times. Yeah. Anyway, I just bought two just in case, but we use the dishwasher most times. And my dishwashing liquid, I buy from Small, S-M-O-L. So they deliver every 30 days dishwashing tablet because i've tried the fairy tablet i hate that fairy tablet my plates always smell of detergent or soap or whatever that smell is that's very disgusting especially plastics or even sometimes even pots when you now want to cook food the next time it will be smelling of fairy and i if you see the way i hate fragrance or anything eh? i don't like like what's what was the reason don't buy perfume i can't buy perfume yeah why don't why do i want my plates to be smelling of of some fragrance i don't like it so these ones they have their own fragrance so all this lemon original smell whatever whatever but when you rinse it up, it rinses up well. But you see that one that, that goes into the dishwasher. It doesn't work well. I don't like it. Okay, next. The next one is Domestos Bleach. Ultra white and sparkle th okay. thick Okay, yeah, bleach. this one is for toilets. And it's £1.50. Yeah. Is it is thick bleach the next? Uh, yeah. Okay, so let thick me just Thick bleach, talk. citrus. Okay, so this is the one I use for toilets. This is my first time buying this one anyway. But this one I use it for washing stuff disinfecting stuff whitening stuff just basically anything i normally do but this one is just for toilets i can use this for toilet as well though it's not like anything i just bought this one so i will have one different but normally i use one for anything including toilet so the domestos bleach is actually one pound fifty then the thick bleach is one pound twenty nine and so the thick bleach is even cheaper okay yeah we always have french fries in the house it's not the most healthy thing ever, but it it's comes yummy. in. It comes in. It comes in handy whenever we're in a crunch, or whenever I'm tired and the children are hungry. I'm like, just go and Cora, Cora makes these fries. Let's go, go and do fries for you and your sister, please. I need, I'm editing this video. <laughs> Today we're going to eat fries. You want to eat fries now? Today. Today yes. when? What's the time? 
the, the time is 3.11. 3.11? Yes! Okay. It's past Take, Go and make this one. This is the old one. I should what? Go and make that one. That's the old fries now. But that's hash brown fries, remember? Try it now. I wish I was going to throw it away because it's hash brown fries. Maybe your papa buy them. You don't know why papa go buy hash I wish hash that he never bought hash brown fries. But you've not even tasted it. You don't even know if it would be nice. Okay, but in this case, I hate hash brown. That's the only thing. You hate hash brown, but you have eaten hash brown fries. No. Uh -huh. So how can you tell? Well, let me see the instructions. Vita, cocoa, cocoa, coconut, Coconut water, water for me. I love this. It's four pounds. Four pounds each? Yeah. So one pound for one. So coconut water, I just like drinking it once in a while. Funny enough, this last month, I think I did not drink it this last month. And I feel like there was a difference in my body. <laughs> I missed it. So I had to just buy this one. Um, normally, before I used to buy the bigger ones, but this makes more sense. I just drink one and done. Instead of the bigger ones that you will now be thinking of how to finish. Yes, wanga, wanga. Kombucha wild berry. Do you know that me and my sisters used to be calling kombucha? We used to be saying kombucha in Mary. That's mm. what we used to be Oh, saying. this is the one that I really like, so he'll be so happy. That is going to be like, yeah, Never. my kombucha. I've never seen daddy like that for anything. Nah. <laughs> Never. But yeah, I love this kombucha. It's for me actually, but my husband likes it once in a while. My kids also drink once in a while. <laughs> but I'm the only one that actually loves it. So I buy I a lot it. of it. And it's two pounds ten. Two pounds ten for each one. Yes. Ha. So the full one is is twenty one something. Ha. <laughs> Nicked. Naked, whatever I said. So all these ones, what are, how old are they? All these are just small, small snacks sir, that I just bought. I normally snack on some of these things. Again, it's not because I'm, it's not that they're not the healthiest things ever. So one is two pound twenty, and one is um three pounds. Some are one two is, pounds. Some are three pounds. Some are two pound forty. Two pound some 40. are two pound yeah. forty again. So it's just I like I like them, sir, because they are mostly nuts, and then some have chocolate. Some have sea salt, dark chocolate. Uh -huh. This one has caramel. Uh -huh. And this one is yogurt or something. Ishi. Yeah, yogurt coated. So I just keep them to snack once, once. And once they finish, everybody rests. I'll move on with our lives. But this one's going to my room as well. The next one is Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Hazelnut Choc and Chocolate Granola. This is granola I buy for my kids. To be honest, I can't really call this thing granola. This thing is eh, sugar. It's so delicious. Like it's like eating, it's like eating biscuits. It's like it's like biscuits because it has chocolate. It's mostly hazelnut and chocolate chunks and stuff like that. So I buy this one mostly for my kids. I mean, I can eat out of it if I want to. But the one I usually prefer is the one that comes with mostly nuts. So it's mostly oats. Those ones have things like macadamia nuts. They have almond. They have hazelnuts. Some of them have peanuts. They have coconut flakes. Okay. They have some fruits in them as well. All this papaya. I prefer those ones. This one to me is, this is not granola. But because my children like it, I just buy it once in a while. But whenever I go to Aldi, I think it's an Aldi, I see the one I buy. Even Asda has it, but I wasn't sure when I was reading. Anyway, when I go to Aldi, I'll buy the one I like. And it's £3.99. Should I tell you something, mommy? Mm-hmm. Between oh, KG, between KG and Grand, which one is bigger? KG. Yeah, but this one is three pound sixty, and this one is three pound ninety nine. Yes, there are different products now. The reason why I'm complaining is because the cornflakes is one KG, the granola is six hundred grams, mm -hmm. but the the granola is three pound ninety nine. While the Kellogg's corn, which is cornflakes, is three pounds sixty. Okay. How so is this, this one less? This is just plain cornflakes. This one has chocolates, hazelnuts, oats, what's go? That's why. So. Yeah. So, but this one is just cornflakes. So, so I buy cornflakes for them, what so that the they will not have to wake me up for breakfast. Anytime I don't wake up for breakfast, they already know that it's cornflakes. When I wake up, I can make the oats and other things. But if I'm sleeping and I don't stand up, just go and make your conference. Let me sleep my sleep. Because I sleep very late. I sleep very late. Sometimes I sleep at 2 a.m. So 
I don't want to come and wake me up by eight o'clock like you're hungry. You better leave me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I buy conflicts for them. Oh. So it's one ninety two pounds for everything, right? But because the kombucha that did not come, I, I took back all those yeah. things they brought in here. So it should be less, maybe like one eighty something. So let's just say one seventy something. One eighty. No, if this one is one ninety. What? Minus minus twenty one pounds. Okay, yeah. So one one seventy something is my Asda order, mind you. Well, there was meat here, Sha. Meat was here, but no beef yet. Um, regular beef, goat meat. I didn't even buy goat meat this time. When did I buy goat meat this time? Ooh. And I like mixing goat meat with normal beef to cook some soup. Anyway, um, I ordered beef from. African store and some other things. So when those ones come, my total order there was eighty something pounds, I 84. think. For my food by CPC. You don't know now. So when those ones come, I will update you guys. So anyway. Alright guys, so my African food order just came just in time. Okay. And I bought this rice. Somebody told me in one of my videos, somebody recommended this rice in one of my videos, and ever since then I've been buying it. And I love it, okay? Yeah, so you guys, I actually listen to you guys, in case people don't know. I actually listen to you guys. You guys actually give me valuable advice and valuable recommendations, which I am totally grateful for. So yeah, I've been buying this rice since then. Before I used to buy Tall Boy, I used to buy like 5 kg of Tall Boy or 10 kg of Tall Boy and 10 kg of this. But to be honest, in a while, I've just been buying this one alone because this one is even easier for my children to cook. They really don't mess it up, like Cora. Sometimes Cora will say, she wants to cook rice, she wants to cook rice. I'll be like, okay, go and cook. So when she cooks rice, even though I used to add Aisha, it's not like I just leave her to do it, but I pretend like I do not help. It's difficult to mess this one up. No matter how you cook it, the rice is still, will still, you know, come out okay-ish. Highest thing to be very soft, but it never, like, gums together and stuff. So that's why I just started buying only this one. Then, um, this is ice fish. So let me just bring my phone. Cora was supposed to. So the basmati rice was twenty pounds ninety nine, I think, twenty pounds something. It's not showing very well here, but it's twenty pounds something. Then I bought fish. It's just four mackerel for five pounds something, five pounds forty four, forty five or something like that. That is normal Titus fish. I normally keep it down here. Then I have two Abuja bread. Abuja bread is. One pound ninety nine. That's like two pounds. So both of them is three pounds ninety eight or so. So I just bought two. Normally I buy like four, sometimes six. But I beg, after these two is finished, then we'll just buy normal bread anyway, because we don't even eat bread that much again. And this one usually lasts. So let me, I'll keep one out because we don't have bread. Then this is atarodo. This is pepper. I'll keep it. I usually just blend all the pepper and then fry it and keep. So let me keep it inside this fridge. I even have some set from before. Um, the atarodo, that one was, let me see, how much was that pepper? Okay, that pepper was four pounds something. So for those of you crying in Nigeria, ah, pepper is expensive, pepper is expensive. This pepper is four pounds something. So it's like 8,000 naira for this. I know, I know. Don't convert, I know. And just convert it for the fun of it, please. <laughs> Before I start getting comment, comments. It only sounds expensive because you're converting. I know. It's just for the fun of it, Vico. Then I bought pig milk. You guys, when the low was coming, I should just told her to buy pig milk. But me, I thought that after the one we came from Nigeria with finishes, I will not be buying. Eh, why do I leave this in open? Yeah, so I thought that after the one we came from Nigeria with finishes, that I will not have need to buy milk because we have normal milk that tastes good. But in recent times, I realized that my husband actually likes prefers this for his conflicts. So he takes um, fruit and fiber conflicts and he prefers this for the com for his conflicts. I mean, if there's normal milk, he will take it. It's not like he won't take, but because he likes it, I'm just like, let me buy powdered milk for him. I order actually ordered needle. But they gave me this one instead. They said that they had this one instead. Ten pounds something. And I feel like this one was more expensive on the website. But anyway, then the last thing, my beef is not here. But normally, anytime he forgets something, because they usually just drop it in a hurry and go. I ordered four packs of um, what they call the name 
of boneless beef. I have a friend that wants to take me to a butcher, so I'll still go to that butcher, but I'll just like before then, because the way things are this week, things are a bit tough. Before then, let's just have beef to cook and eat and whatever. So I ordered four packs of beef from these people, but they did not bring it. So, but those four packs of beef at seven pounds something, seven pounds ninety nine, so eight pounds per kg of beef. That's like sixteen k for one kg of beef. Again, just for the sake of it. So I bought four packs. That's thirty one pounds, but it's not here. I've sent him. I've sent him a message. He will most likely just pass back and drop it for me. So that's that about my order. So the total for this order was eighty five pounds. So let's just say I've spent 300 pounds on everything I bought so far. Yeah. Let's just say 300 pounds, roughly, give or take. I put calculating how much that is in Naira. <laughs> but just in case I don't show you guys the other things I buy later on from Aldi, just know that I will spend at least another, that is this weekend, at least another 70 to 80 pounds. But let's just say if I want to get maybe enough pepper, enough onions, enough. What are you trying to buy from Aldi? Say pepper, onions, veggies. Uh, my husband does food, so it's not among the money he gives me. <laughs> the money he gives me is for the house. He, he buys food himself. I mean, I can buy food if I'm in the if I go to Morris's or something. But the major bulk purchase of food, my husband does it. Me, I buy mostly veggies, things for salad, um, pepper for cooking. That is bell peppers and um, Swiss chili pepper. Uh -huh. I'm gonna buy those ones. So let's say I'll spend another roughly 80 to 100 pounds. Let's just say 100 pounds. Yeah, just round it up. So that would be like 400 pounds for my initial purchase for house stuff okay then subsequently i'll not be buying here buying there buying here buying there we need this we need that we need this we need that even some things that maybe i did not buy now but to finish half of the month i can rebuy them i'm also going to buy some more meat at some point i buy veggies almost every one or two weeks because my husband always goes to out i don't buy too much veg i don't buy too many veggies at once because we can always get it fresh whenever we want um what else what else what else out of the money he gives me as well, I spent some on outing with the kids. Let's say I go out with the kids and I need to buy snacks for somebody, buy some things and carry with us. It's from the house money as well. For main detergents for washing, my husband does that as well. Even though he always tell me, ya oi mio, ya oi mio, but we don't need to pay him that money. I'm like, now you like laundry. You like laundry a lot. So he's always buying detergents. So that one is not among what he gives me money for. It's not even among like my expenses. So detergents can be expensive. Though. If you calculate how much you spend on detergents, it can be expensive, but it's still under what he pays for. Even tissue, he's the one that normally buys tissue. And then some snacks as well, all these chips, popcorn, all those things. He's the one that buys them for the kids and for himself. But if I go out, like if I go to Morrison's or let's say I just go out now, I can buy some of those things sometimes. But I don't like buying and keeping. I've, I've told him several times not to buy and keep. But because he likes those things, he always buys and keeps. Sometimes I even tend to go and hide it. Because me, I don't like buying and keeping. Them. But if you buy, I'm going to eat it. Okay? You cannot stop me from eating it if you buy it. So I always tell him not to buy, but he buys. Um, What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to remember what else we spend money on. So I can give a rough estimate because we have other things okay i didn't buy oats i didn't buy oats because i still have oats I have, I have one pack that i bought and it's still up there so i didn't buy oats but i usually buy jumbo oats i just buy any nice organic jumbo oats whatever then i'll still buy some more eggs at some point oh oil yes i buy olive oil for cooking like frying stuff i buy olive oil from aldi or morrison's i just buy like two for the month even though we don't finish those two yeah so that's roughly it so if i were to add all those extra things i just mentioned let's just cap everything at 500 pounds even though i don't know i'm not sure because I, I, like i said some things have not finished some things as i brought from nigeria are still here like most of the ingredients for my soup aside the meats every other ingredient most times I already have it, like the fish, the oil, the spices, I already have them here. So I can't calculate accurately, but let's just say in a month, I spend like 500 pounds on my own end though. With my husband, so let me just say like 700 pounds. Funny enough, eh, if my husband were in my shoes, if he was the one handling this shopping for food and stuff, he would know exactly to the last couple how much we spend in a month. But me, I used to freestyle the thing. In fact, sometimes when he sends me money for the month, I will start from there and buy all the rich, rich I want to buy for myself. <laughs> then, like this particular month, when he sends me money at the beginning of the month, I use it to do everything I want to do, just anyhow, anyhow. Then I will now transfer my own money and now replace it, basically. 
um, like some of these my Amazon orders and stuff, I use that of the house money. I've never really had an accurate. Well, this, I think this is the best time to calculate this thing now. Anyway, if you are in the UK and you are a family of five like me, if you know how much you spend in a month on food and just all this small, 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 small household stuff, let me know in the comment section. In fact, even if you're a family of one, family of two, family of three, family of four, whatever your number, family of seven, whatever the number is, let me know how much you guys spend in a month in the uk like i said this is a rough estimate i'm not even sure what i'm saying so i'll still go and check it again but you know it is what it is uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye guys